How we doing, Telly folk? It's Brian from Cascade Telemark here with a very exciting video for you from my shop slash cave. So I'm bringing you today a first look at the new Scarpa TX Pro. This is going to be released next year for the 2024-2025 season, and it's a complete redesign of the TX Pro. I'm very grateful for an organization, Rise of Telly, here in the Seattle area. Rise of Telly was able to get access to these boots for me so I could try them out and make a video for you guys. So make sure you check out Rise of Telemark, Woodenville, Washington. Awesome spot to get Scarpa boots if you need Scarpa boots. So without further ado, we're gonna open this up. And there they are. Now this is a first impression video, so I'm really just gonna tell you kind of what I notice out of the box. Uh, first thing I notice is, wow, uh, my old TX Pros feel really old now. You can tell that this is a very modernized boot. Uh, it has all sorts of features and changes that the other TX Pro and really the original design of the TX Pro doesn't have. Uh, there's no successor to the TX Comp, which is the boot that I normally ski in. Um, more of a stiffer, uh, downhill focused boot. Um, however, they very well may make a TX Comp in the near future, uh, especially if sales go well on the TX Pro. So uh, regardless of if you're hoping for a Comp or not, I would suggest trying these for yourself, showing Scarpa that we want more Tele boots because we do. First thing I notice is the, the duckbill, NTN duckbill here in the front, actually has a very different shape to it than that of the TX Pro. On the TX Pro, um, it's very much a fluid rounded shape around the front. Uh, and on the, uh, the new TX Pro, it has kind of a cut out of it, and it's actually, um, it's actually looks like it's not a flush curve around. If you'll notice, most people who have skied their TX Pros a lot have a lot of wear in this area, um, and partly because, you know, different bindings do different things to the boot, and it's hard to accommodate for all of those different, um, rub points and um, associated wear points on these bindings. So this looks like Scarpa's attempt to make uh, a better interface for modern Telemark bindings, maybe one that'll wear down their boot a little bit less. Another thing that I found kind of interesting is I don't think that there's quite as much bevel to the base of the boot, meaning uh, there's not as much early rise in the toe. Um, so if you like that rounded walk feeling, that might be a little bit different. Um, it's more of a flat foot. So I honestly couldn't tell you, I'm gonna have to walk in them to know what that's gonna be like. Another thing that's interesting is these are considerably shorter than the other boots uh, for the same shell size, 26 0 299 for the TX Pro, 290 for the new TX Pro, um, TX Pro 2.0. So completely different size boot, which means if you're running the bishops, you're going to need to um, do an adjustment to be able to switch between, between uh, the two boots. Anyway, moving on here to maybe the more interesting parts of the boot for a lot of people. Uh, we've got a three buckle system instead of a four buckle system on the original TXs and TX Pros and TX Comps. Uh, this three buckle system with a, uh, I would call it a super strap or a very, uh, a more adjustable strap um, that basically allows you to get it really tight like that, um, which will give you a lot of stability. Uh, but in terms of buckle design, we've got uh, pretty high quality um, metal buckles here. Uh, it even looks like, I think that's metal, metal protecting um, the inner buckle mechanism, which is nice. 
Uh, there's a nice leash hook still. I was hoping that they wouldn't get rid of those because lots of people still don't use brakes. Here we have a um, interesting, I wouldn't call it a regression, but it sort of is on the original TX Pro and TX Boots. Uh, they had one of these, which is a little, I don't know what the actual term for this is, um, but basically it's one of those things. So you set your tension on the little teeth, lock it like that. Um, as long as there's enough adjustability, I probably prefer this over the um, arm buckle that latches over on the TX Pro. Um, I just find these a little bit finicky and they pop off pretty easily. So as long as I get the same adjustability with this new buckle, I think I'm probably going to prefer it. And then up here, we have an oversized buckle for the main power buckle on the top of the boot. Um, again, if it's adjusted correctly, it's probably going to do very well since it's such a big beefy buckle. Um, that combined with this strap is probably going to make up for that fourth buckle not really being there. Another big change on the new TX Pro uh, is the walk mode mechanism on the back. Uh, basically, most of you are probably familiar, if this is down, it's in ski mode where the boot cuff is locked. And when it's up, the boot cuff is unlocked and allows some level of motion um, backwards for walking uphill. Obviously, it depends on how the boot's buckled. Now, I may not be the best person to be reviewing the new TX Pro because I am not uh, an avid backcountry skier or hiker. So, in general, this liner does look pretty similar. However, um, it's obviously actually a Telemark liner. Um, I mean, the other liners are likely Telemark liners too, but this one actually has uh, this little interface thing for the bellow. Um, I don't get bellow bite too often in my original TX Pros. However, uh, it does happen sometimes. I would be interested to see how this, um, how this does, how it holds up over time, uh, if it affects the feel in there at all. But I'll be trying out this new liner to see if it feels different. Uh, it also comes with maybe the most real footbed I have ever seen in uh, a production ski boot. Now, whether this is going to be what they actually put in the boot or not, I'm not really sure. Um, it's the Scarpa Ortho Light. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be uh, standard or not. However, it does seem like a better platform for a foot than what I generally see in a retail boot. So that's awesome. I personally ski with Superfeet Carbons. I feel like they give me the correct fit in uh, the original TX Pro liners. However, um, you know, that's awesome for someone who doesn't want to worry about footbeds out of the box. We're pulling this out real quick just to compare. Yeah, I mean, so in general, the theme kind of fits with the rest of the boot. This is just a upgraded, more modernized liner. Uh, it really does feel like they did an all around upgrade on these boots. All right, guys, so overall, I am really impressed with the new generation of TX Pros. Uh, as they appear out of the box. Of course, I haven't skied them yet. But what I like is it's a modernized boot. Um, and of course, I've been skiing Tele mostly for the last four or five years. So uh, as Tele skiers, we don't really realize that boot technology continues to get better. Um, and a lot of that stuff hadn't been applied to the new Telemark boots yet or any Telemark boot. Um, and man, those just feel old after you hold these. It's just a whole different era. I mean, these have the Rico um, plate in them. They have uh, all sorts of upgraded hardware. Things are obviously just thought through better. Um, you can tell that Scarpa 
saw the pain points on some of these boots, like uh, the wear points here. I haven't even skied these yet, and I already know that I want a pair. But the only way we're gonna know for sure how it does is take it out on the hill and ski it. So let's head up to the mountain and throw it on the snow. All right, we are here in the Stevens Pass parking lot and we are about to put on the new Scarpa TX Pro. I'm preoccupied, I'm trying to figure out how this freaking boot works. Oh, jeez. Yowza. That's my bigger foot, and you can tell. All right, well, first impression. Feeling pretty good out of the box. These liners are 26.0. I usually wear a 25.5, so they've got a little extra space. But uh, I would say they fit similarly to the old TX Pros out of the box. Maybe a little bit narrower on the forefoot, but overall a good fit. And uh, that red looks pretty good with my bibs. All right, I'm getting ready to walk up here, so I threw the boots in walk mode, and they have way more range of motion than the old ones. Here's a little example for you. Obviously, I'm not gonna be touring today, but when it's in walk mode, you have a lot of reverse mobility there. Here we go, first turns in the new boots. If you guys are stoked on reviews like this, please do me a favor and subscribe to this channel and I will bring you more. Very locked in. Definitely a different flex pattern than what I'm used to, throwing me off just a little bit. But in terms of power transfer, there is a lot to be had. One thing that's really noticeable about this new boot is how it engages the edges of the skis. The toe box feels like it's packed with control, and even small movements of your toes can really engage the edge quickly. Well, overall, I'm quite impressed after the first run. Uh, very smooth, much stiffer than I anticipated. Uh, feels like the boots actually have a decent amount less give at the, the lower angles, if you will. So, uh, doesn't feel like the three buckle design is really holding me back but let's keep trying it out. The main difference I noticed with these new boots is just a difference in flex pattern compared to the old TX Pro and TX Comp. The bellows in these boots feel quite a bit softer and the cuff feels quite a bit stiffer. In my opinion, this makes it a very good touring boot for ease of uphill travel and also very good at initiating turns. For me personally, I'm trying to limit how low I get in my turns and really feel the activity of the boot as it gets about halfway down and these boots really help me with that. They help me become a better tele skier. Although out of the box you can't quite go as neat a ski on these boots, I think it's a good thing because it helps encourage people to make more proper tele turns and creates a really firm foundation for powerful turns. That's the Although my up. foot hurt a little oh, bit man. when taking off the boot, it is likely just because those liners hadn't been form fit to me quite yet. Overall, I'm super happy with this redesigned boot from Scarpa. I recommend any NTN Tele skier pick up a new pair of these boots, enjoy them, and show Scarpa that we really love the new Telemark boot releases.